Hello everybody, Captain Thief, back from that embarrassing display I just did where I couldn't even get into that gold door. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, what is this? Swimming while it's raining? I think that's what it's called. Yeah. And the opening part makes it sound kind of like, you know, you're, you're kind of swimming while it's raining. Or at least it's raining. I don't know. It's a good song either way. It's a good song either way. Captain, why are you being such... Oh, did my game freeze? No. Okay. It did not. But I almost did. Uh, why are you being such a fanboy for this? Well, it's good music, all right? I kind of like chiptune. I don't know if that's what this is. I just like it, okay? And that's all there is to it. All right, then we just go ahead and slide on down here. Hit that dust. Yep. Uh, I want to do this uh, loop thingy. <clears throat> and then we should be able to do this good old wall jump thing that we got going on here. And uh, we're good. We're good. And then just flying over here through the wall, to the wall, eat the wall. Um, build ourselves some walnuts and then some tall nuts and hit the zombie and we're good. You know, this guy's not hitting anybody, but he, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta take care of it. He's made of dust. He is part of the enemy. Makes me think that maybe my character's insane and he just thinks that all his friends and family are dusty gargoyles and that he has to fight them or something. <laughs> you know what? Let's, let's, let's stay away from that, uh, troubled narrative. Oh, I'm gonna lose. No, I'm not going to lose. All right. Way to go, Cap. Way to go, Cap. Here's your clap, Cap. Um, some of them are like doctors that are trying to restrain them. So then they take the form of knights or anything that attacks. And some of them are just, you know, random passersby that are afraid for their lives. Ah, this got dark. Okay, let's let's stop thinking about it. It's just we're, we're janitors who descend from a very proud ninja line. And that's it. All right, this would have meant something this was, if this was the very first mate I ever met. I missed something. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but at the same time, I'm proud of myself for doing it. So, you know, way to go, Cappy. Where am I missing this dust, I wonder? Where is the dust I missed? Maybe it's because I got to finish her after I dusted, because the dust was still there when I finished the level, technically. Or something? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Editing Captain Thief. Where did I miss it? I don't know. I'm not going to put that much pressure on myself. Let's see somebody... Oh. Luffy's still at the top. Let's watch Forget because I don't want to switch characters. I want to see what I'm capable of, guys. Woo. Look at that speed. Why can't I learn how to do that? Because I just don't have the dedication. He left a little bit of dust just so that way he has a, a combo thing, I guess. I don't know. He doesn't need it. Maybe he feels uh, paranoid about it. I don't know. I don't know why this guy does what he does. Oh, I know why he did that, though. He skipped some dust because he was going to get it later with the Ultra Smack. Does this count as the last watch? I don't think so. Because not everybody can see the top scores because they update and change and remove themselves or whatever. Occasionally, whenever anybody beats their old score. So, no. Maybe. That's actually pretty bad reasoning right there. No matter what, this level's going to take a while. Okay. Alright. Congrats. It's like I beat it in 50 seconds, except no. No, I did not. No, I did not. Got a silver key, though. Um, This one's just for a bronze key. Vacant lot, we'll talk about it. And it gives me my rank, so I know that I haven't done this one yet. That's good. That's very good. Okay, um, we're gonna, do I have a bronze key? Yeah, let's go to the caverns, even though this is like in the mansion area-ish. Mm, more electric relic, actually. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna fault the game or anything, but that's just what this is. That's just what this is. Okay. Um... I'm sorry this doesn't look all fancy, but uh, I am getting all the dust. Smack. Gotta smack him twice so he knows his, his lesson. Okay, this is gonna be tough because we got like two sources of dust here. Um, just, you know, finish you off. Then get all this dust. And get all this dust. And then we're gonna make a leap of faith here. Uh huh. Didn't, didn't hit that gargoyle up there, though. Okay, this is going to be tough. 
Because I've just put up a dust desert for myself. Leaving that there. Oh, see? Imagine a, an entire tower made of that kind of dust. And we're talking about that kind of tower right there. Smack. Uh, just go ahead and finish him off. Ah! Okay, this is, this is tough. I will admit that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nope, you made some dust. I'm going to finish that. I don't know the ideal spot to uh, do my ultimate swing thingy. There we go. Got the last bit of dust, and then, yep. Okay, before this combo stops. What's down there? Nothing? Nothing. Well, a secret area, kind of. We're just going to keep going, guys, because that's just how I feel today. I just want to know what kind of tricky place, what kind of tricky... Tricky Trickersons are here, you know? Alright. Ah. Uh. Okay. Whoa. Sucks to me, me. Oh well. And if it's not double S rank, it's nothing anyway. So I'm okay with this actually. Alright, let me just slide up here and then up here and da 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 da. The rest of this looks pretty straightforward. I feel like we could probably restart now and be alright. Uh, you guys are at the end, right? <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Did I get all the dust? That's one of the key things I want to know about. No. It says I def definitely did not. What did I miss? Ah! I'm going to say that was perfect too. I need to find this dust that I'm missing before I can actually sleep well at night. Maybe it is in that secret area down there. Let's try getting in there. Ow. I'm gonna do it. I'm fairly certain it's not down here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I need to know what's down here. It might just be apples. You laugh, but you know, there's apples in this game. Secret apples. Yeah, it's an apple. And you can use, wait, what? Press U. Uh, nothing. They're indestructible. You can build up your combo if you really feel like it. Or just smack an apple around a bit. A hidden shrine. Okay. I've never seen like secret messages like that. I don't know. Hmm. Alright. Let's die. Anything past this way? Nope. Just these gargs. And I defeat them and I get a C in completion again? Because I, I didn't do anything different. Okay, I guess I did. I don't know. Let's try that with a little finesse this time. Finestro. It's like Sinestro, but better. Uh, isn't that like a comic book villain? I'm fairly certain it is. Probably from the Green Lantern persuasion. Yeah, I'm thinking he's like the Yellow Lantern or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know all my lanterns. I did learn about the orange lantern. And I was kind of interested until I found out that there's only one of them and for a very good reason. I just thought it was interesting that orange was the color of greed because orange is one of my favorite colors. And I always associate myself with the Dungeons and Dragons class thief. Well, fantasy class thief, rather. Because I'm like all agile and stuff. Not in real life, but... Uh, you know, just how I wish I was, you know? And a lot of times it actually doesn't work out for me. Gotta put that out there. I wish I was the best rogue slash thief person there was. And yet, what's the class I do best with in Guild Wars 2? Guardian or Engineer occasionally. Um, I'm always going for thief, but then I find out that I'm not a very good thief. And it's kind of depressing, but at the same time it's kind of like, uh, well... Maybe you are what you are because you want to be it, rather than you are what you are because you're the best at it. I mean, at least it kind of saves me some of the headache of finding someone who's an even better thief than me, right? I mean, imagine my existence was defined on being the best thief there was, and then I run into someone who's even better. Does that mean that my existence is now worthless? I would like to think no. I love this part because they all just go, Doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah. That feels all ninja -y. That's when you feel like a ninja in this game, guys. Alright, way to go. Eclipse, because you're the best Dustman player here. Let's watch you do this. Sorry if this is eating up time, but I like to actually kind of watch some of the elegance. I feel like some of it rubs off on me on some point. At least, when I'm watching, I think that's what I'm going to get out of it. 
Yeah, so he's all... He doesn't take smack from no gargoyle. He knows exactly what he's doing. I don't plan on actually ever getting this good. But I would like to pick up uh, a trick or two. Okay, so you just don't even create the dust desert. You just go over here, kick some ass. Or kick some donkey, I don't know. And then just continue on on the bottom, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is more efficient. Much more efficient. He knows where all his smacks are landing, too. He knows where he's going to be leaving dust. He knows what he's going to be doing. For me, it's more like, let's try this and see if it works. If it doesn't, I'm going to do a little backflip and come back and try and get it. Something like that. Yeah. Alright, continue. 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 We got another silver key, guys. Uh, bronze cliffside caves? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, we're out of bronze keys. The irony. Well, it's not so much irony, it's just, you know, huh. I'm out of bronze keys. Fascinating that. Okay, so how do I get up there? Did I have to do something crazy? I feel like I did. Shoot. Yeah, I think that's what I did. My gosh. Okay, and then once I'm at the top... Yeah, okay, this works. Uh, I'm never gonna do that, I'm never gonna be able to do that again. But hey, you know, as long as it works. Alright, let's try and get to this gold door. And maybe figure this out. <laughs> um, maybe the trick is going to be using one of these. No, that's not the case. Let's do this one. Let's just do this one. Ramparts. I kind of know what those are. They're something of a defense. Ah, it's not supposed to be snowing. That, I mean, it's not snowing here. It's actually freaking June. But that's the name of the song. And for a while, there's actually no dust, if I remember right. Yeah. Just no dust. This is actually one of the... Uh, I'm going to bring it up again, guys. I know I did last year. <laughs> but uh, this is actually one of the more commonly used songs in Influence. Whenever you start like this one quiz-like thing and start naming objects across your room, it plays this, if I remember right. It's been a while since I played that. It's been almost a year. Possibly longer, because that reference felt a little old when I used it last year. And not that the game is old, just that, you know, it's been a while since I've actually played Influence. Yeah. Uh, why have I stopped playing Influence? I don't know. I, I have this really bad habit, guys. And you can confide in me if you share it, but um, here's my bad habit. If I'm trying to learn a skill or whatever, and in this case, let's say learning Mandarin Chinese, I tend to buy a lot of books or software about learning it, with the idea that that's all I had to do is just buy the item and then just you know go to sleep and not even care. I don't like actually make some time with that object I bought and start studying it or whatever. I'm just like, okay, we're good. I'm I'm good to go if I ever feel like this, and then I never feel like it. Yeah, it's a bad habit. I would get much further if instead of buying ten books and reading none of them, if I just bought one or two books and read one of them, like almost religiously, but that's I'm I'm lazy or something, I don't know. Now I feel bad. Great going, Captain. But yeah, um that's why I don't really play Influent that much. It's actually an alrightly made game, I think. A little embarrassing to, for someone to watch me play it. Not because, oh, you got the word wrong or whatever, just, you know, the character looks kind of funny, in my opinion. And I'm all self-conscious about stuff like that. Cap, why are you self-conscious about stuff? Um, I get the feeling that when somebody sees something that I'm partaking in, that they are... Oh, my game froze again. Okay, there we go. I get this weird feeling that they think that they are gazing into my soul. This is a check one, by the way, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this night with that because I, I just don't have time for this. Okay. Why, oh, okay, that flag was not a checkpoint because this is the end and I think I just get, did this in one go. Go cap. Took me twice as long as, uh, say, the best people in this, but you know what, that's okay. In fact, I don't need to watch them play it because I already kind of know what they were doing. They're just doing it a lot more finessey. And not, not, um, oh, what is his name? Not, uh, f Felucacy. Yeah. There's, there's my Earthbound reference right there. Uh, instead of finessey, it's Felucacy. You know what? Just shut up.
Let's go back to talking about people gazing into my soul when they're not. Where do I get this weird idea that people are gazing into my soul when they see me partaking in something? Uh, this is actually some, like, family drama, and I have actually a pretty good family, I think. Um, but when I was a kid, seven, eight, I, I can't really remember that far back. I have very few early memories of my early childhood. Um, there was a show. Oh, you're going to send uh, trinkets at me. There was a show called uh, Tailspin. Let's just finish everything off. And, like, whenever I watch TV, I'm not watching something like, Oh, man, this show defines my life, and I love that... Uh, that's really more like Adventure Time. I'm just kidding. That's an art show, too, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, so there's a show called Tailspin. I'm not a huge fan of bears or, you know, monkeys. And there's a bunch of those animals in that show. But, hey, it's on TV. Uh, it's a cartoon. I'll watch it. Why not? Then for like on my 8th birthday, my parents give me an NES game on it, and I'm, and I'm just thinking, oh my god, they saw me watching this, and now they think it defines my life. They think I'm into this. Oh. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's just try and... Okay. <laughs> this is actually some pretty good practice right here. So yeah, that's why I'm always so self-conscious about that kind of thing, and why I don't let anybody see that sort of thing. Perfect, except for that one time I fell in the pit and lost. Let's try that one more time and we'll call it net right here. Okay. So this takes a while, because they're freaking knights and they take a while to kill. But it doesn't screw up my combo, so I, I, can, I can deal with that. Now he's all nice and shiny. Oh, hey. Just a, a quick regular smack and a quick strong smack and everything's good to go. Actually. A lot better than what I was doing earlier. All right, keep sending those goblets and crowns at me. I dare you. Okay. Ah, let's just finish you all off. I think that's the the perfect way to use that. Was that too much of Cappy's life for you? I feel like it kind of was, but I feel like it kind of defines. I think that was kind of a defining moment that really changed a lot about who I am and what I let people see. Because there's been so many times in my life, whoops, hang on, hang on, where I've been somewhat interested in something, but I don't let anyone into that sphere of my life because, well, hey, they might think, ah, oh, geez, okay, well, I can still do this. Okay, good. Uh, okay, I just gotta be smart. Which is admittedly kind of hard to do. Ah, oh, okay, I gotcha. <laughs> this is the lamest but most awesome way of doing this. Okay, I win. I win. I mean, like, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go go ahead and say it. Pokemon. I was actually pretty into Pokemon when it first came out. I was in middle school when uh, the red and blue version came out. So this is actually kind of weird, but that's actually the age cutoff date when you were simultaneously cool and lame for liking Pokemon. It was really weird. Uh, I think it was like 6th grade or 7th grade or something. Ooh, ouch. Well, thanks. Eesh. Whatever. I'm, I don't have any bronze keys. I want to get to that gold door. And you know what? We're going to talk about this while trying to get in there again. Shoot. I don't remember how I got up there. <laughs> okay, no way. I kind of do. Except I kind of don't. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I did it. I learned, um, 6th or 7th grade, uh, simultaneously cool or lame for liking Pokemon. Weird, huh? They're, they're like, half my class thought it was lame, because, I don't know, you're, you're into that kid baby stuff. Never mind the fact that there's a bunch of Generation Zs now, which is the generation after the one I came from, that are totally into it, that, you know, were into it when they were in high school, but, you know, they grew up with it, so it's okay, but... For my generation, we didn't grow up with it. We, uh... It, it just... Well, we halfway grew up with it. So, we were, like, in this weird kind of guarded interest of it. You know, where you could... My, my go-to phrase back then was, uh, Yeah, the game's really cool, but the show's pretty lame. Even though I actually watched the show, too. I didn't actually have too much of a problem with the show. 
But, uh, you know, people kind of thought that the whole thing was a whole bunch of cutesy animals and stuff, even though, um, you know, there were also some kind of large hulking monsters fighting each other. That's kind of awesome, don't you think? I don't know. How did I... Oh, right. I didn't do it that way. Bad cap. Bad. Good pizza. Um, yeesh. It's actually kind of hard to talk about this. I, I was into the trading card game and all that, but, uh, you know, I don't think a lot of my friends knew. A few of my friends knew, but not all of them. Yeah. My mind's, like, gone into exploratory mode, and it's like, okay, how are we getting at this gold door? Stop thinking about what you're thinking about and do this. I gotta, like, jump low enough that I climb in there, but high enough that I can still reach. That's, that's, a, that's a crazy problem. Okay. I want to get to there for next episode. I know that's a, a common pattern that I'm doing. Okay, I think, I, I think I'm doing it. I just need to do it at just the right time. No world speed record here, guys, but that's okay. You still love me, right? I think we're off the world speed record by just a couple hundred hours. <laughs> um, okay, let's try this. Okay. And... And... Oh, there we go. There we go. I want to see what it's like. I want to hear the music, too. I bet you want to see what it's like. Let's try it. It's a gold door, guys. Sheesh. I remember this level, actually, but... You know, this this looks... This looks, uh... Kind of tough. Kind of tough. Okay, we gotta get up there and fly... Oh. Start over. Okay, we just gotta be all finessey about it. Don't don't do that fin Lucasy thing that you're always talking about, Captain. This, this isn't the time. This isn't the place. This isn't the year. Okay, there we go. I'm doing it. I don't know about you, but I'm doing it. Ow! The gargoyle carried me into oblivion. That sounds like a uh, not so hard rock or metal title of some sort of an album or a song or a single out okay so maybe it's got you know do this dash and then fly over there and then yeah something like this and then something like this 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 ow I want to learn this before I try and gold it or get keys from it is what I should say okay unfortunately what I'm doing though is I'm spinning my jumps. I, c I think I need to save my jump. But I can't smack him. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Oh, I get my jump back by killing him. What am I thinking? Okay. Whatever. And then we just slide on up here and smack you around and get up here and... Why didn't I hit the wall? Let's try this again, but, you know, actually try and key it in one go. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what everyone came here to see. Okay, and then whoop, whoop, and dash, smack him around. You feel like a real badass doing this stuff, by the way. Okay, I'm, I'm done trying to key it. I'm just gonna try and beat it. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Just try and beat it, guys. Uh-huh, there we go. Alright, now let's slide on down here, and oh jeez. Then we just like do some dashes. Okay. Uh, what am I, oh, I need to get this dust down here. Uh-huh. And then smack some dust just so that we keep our combo. And uh, oh, I need to get you. Get over here, you. Okay. Sorry this isn't finessey. It just is what I'm able to do. But hey, you know, maybe you want to see what a normal person that doesn't practice too much, or not too much, but so much, can do. Because maybe you're in the same boat. Maybe you're like, I just want to get my giga difficult achievement and leave. Could you show me how to get there? And maybe I can show you how to do that. Maybe that's why um, this uh, series has some sort of value to it. I don't know. Uh, that was too too early of a jump. Uh, <laughs> too early of a jump, or too late of a jump, actually. Too late of a jump two times in a row. 
And there we go, just perfect. Just fine, and then we do that. This one's all tricky though. As soon as we like think we got it, it's gonna throw stuff at us. Okay. But hey, it's good practice. Da, 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 da. I really like the music. It's still not supposed to be snowing, right? Mm. Okay, this is the end actually. I remember that much. And we just beat these two knights and we got it. We got it. So I'm gonna click off the game for a second. Ah, uh, 34 freaking minutes. Okay, I definitely can't, you know, finish this one like I want to. And I don't want to watch anyone actually do it until I've done it myself. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been Captain Thief pouring out his heart and soul and telling you his most darkest childhood secrets. Actually, he hasn't lived that much of a dark life. Don't fall. Don't you dare damn fall, Captain. It's going to be so hard to get back here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>